Hello again, everyone. It's Vince Vora here from TradingWinds.com. And today I want to share with you a simple but a very, very effective strategy that you can use on any market, any time frame. And it's so simple that we will not be trading with any indicators at all. In fact, this is what our chart is going to look like. Just uh, the price bars. And they can be candlesticks. They can be open, high, low close bars they can uh you can even use a line chart that's how simple this strategy is um and again with this what we will be identifying is not only the next likely move for the stock whether it'll be higher or lower or sideways but we will be able to identify areas of support and resistance we will be able to easily and quickly identify a stop loss level we can quickly and easily identify our how much profit potential there is in that trade all of that just by using one simple tool and that is our trend line tool that is it nothing else now this is my trading view platform uh, but you can use any charting platform you like they all have a uh, trend line drawing tool so and that that's really all we do so what you need to do with this is select the time frame that you are planning to trade on. In other words, if you're a day trader and you are trading with a five minute chart, for example, you want to choose two other time frames that are above that. So for a five minute, I would likely go to a 15 minute and then an hourly chart. Okay. Myself, I trade mostly on a daily time frame. So I will be using a daily, weekly, and a monthly. Okay. If you trade say on an hourly you can use the daily and the weekly above it right uh so you get the idea so let's go through an example here and we will use apple most people trade apple i'll, I'll do another example time permitting uh with tesla but uh again it doesn't have to be stocks it can be uh forex pairs futures contracts anything like that commodities whatever you prefer to trade okay so let's take apple for example and what i'm going to do since i i like to trade up on the daily time frame i'm going to start with the monthly so you want to start with the highest time frame possible and all you want to do is identify pivot highs and pivot lows and by pivot highs and pivot lows i'm, I'm talking about these turning points here okay they are much easier to spot on a line chart right but the difference between a line chart and say a, a candlestick chart or an open high low close bar chart is that these points are the actual closing prices not the highs and lows okay but what you're trying to do is identify those turning points so if you notice here you know along the way we were making higher highs and higher lows on most candles. And then suddenly we turn around and start to make lower highs and lower lows from one candle to the next. And then back down here, you turn again and you start to make higher highs and higher lows from one candle to the next. And these turning points are what we call pivots. And so this is a pivot high, that's a pivot high, that's a pivot high, that's a pivot high. And up here is a pivot high as well. And then pivot low pivot low pivot low etc right and so all you're going to do is take your trend line tool and you're going to connect pivot high to pivot high and pivot low to pivot low okay you can never connect a pivot high with a pivot low it's highs to highs or lows to lows and so you want to start on the highest time frame chart okay in my case the monthly and you want to just take your drawing tool and so we're going to connect this pivot low to this pivot low we're going to connect this pivot low to this one and we're going to connect this one to this one and that's as complicated as it gets okay now um sometimes there will be multiple pivots along the same line and that's fine it's even easier it saves you time you just draw one uh line and it covers all those points okay but if not if not 
you just connect as many of them as you can. So for example, this one to this one, and you want to extend the line out. And the reason why you want to do that is these levels here, these, believe it or not, are going to be your future levels of support or resistance. Okay. And I'll show you how that will work um, uh, later on. So now we can connect this one to this one, this one to this one, and then eventually this one to this one up here. Now we can take it a step further. We can then go back and say, connect this one to that one, right? Uh, and this one to that one. Now at first, you know, it may cloud up your chart, right? You, you may see too many lines there. So you may choose not to do that. But the whole point of the exercise in doing this is that you, so you will uh, identify areas of potential support and resistance. And when lines overlap like this one, that means that that is an area where there will be much more support or resistance there than, say, a single line. OK, so it's very, very helpful. Now, once you've connected all the highs to highs and all the lows to lows on the higher time frame chart, in this case, the monthly, we then revert back and go to a weekly, right? We go one notch down and we see if there are any um, high and low pivots that we have not attached there, right? So in this case, here's one where, and here's a perfect example of where with one, one line, we connect this one to this one and to this one and to this. So we, we managed to connect all those pivot lows on one line. All right. We can also connect this pivot high to this pivot high and this pivot high across to these two pivot highs. Right. And so now we're done on the weekly. See how quickly this is. Now, the great thing about this is once these lines are on your chart, you can just leave them there. And then as price creates more bars in the future, and as it creates new pivot highs and pivot lows, you then go in and just connect those missing uh, pivots, right? And that's it. So to maintain that chart, it, it literally only takes a few seconds uh, every day or every few days. Now, once you're done, <clears throat> excuse me, with the second highest time frame, you now go to the time frame that you're actually going to trade on. So in this case, we did the monthly, we did the weekly. Now we're going to the daily chart, okay? And you look to see if there are any other ones that you can connect. So there's this high and this high that we can connect, right? Um, and, you know, you can connect this one. But really, um, that's what we've managed to identify is this wedge that price is currently in right now. So this is the important thing that we want to look at now. Now that we've drawn these lines, we know exactly where our next levels of support or resistance are. So in other words, right here, right now, Apple is right up against that upper trend line here. So one of two things can happen. It can either break through, and if it does, the next level it should go and test is this one up here. And if it fails here, it is it can come back down here and then test this line. If it fails, it should come down to this one. And if not, it'll bounce off it and take another shot at breaking through here. So just by drawing these lines on your chart, you can quickly see that we have a lot more profit potential to the upside here than we do risk down below, right? And now you can play this in between. So for example, when price pulled back here and bounced off this line, you know, and created that pivot here, it, we can play it for a move back to this line, right? So um, excuse that error. I'm just going to move this out of the way. So with this now, we can determine that if we do put on a trade here, how much risk we have compared to how much potential reward. So let's say we are going to enter on a break of this line. 
we can do one of two things, and this all, all depends on how aggressive or how conservative you are as a trader, how much risk you're willing to accept. Because if price bumps through here, you can put your stop loss just below that trend line, or if you're willing to accept more risk, you can put, put it just underneath this line. Either way, when you compare the amount of risk you have, whether you put your stop here or here, compared to the potential reward, you can see that you have a lot more reward potential than you do risk. And that, if you do that over and over again consistently, um, you, you know, that, that's a formula that will work out in your favor in the long run, obviously, right? Not only that, but you know exactly where you may want to take your profits, okay? Um, and, and so, um, it, you know, it, it really clears up a chart um, without any other indicators. Remember, most of the other indicators that you would put on a chart are lagging indicators. This here just identifies support and resistance, right? And then it's up to the buyers and the sellers to battle it out and see who wins. So if we can get above here, buyers will most likely push it right up to that level before some selling comes in. And if if sellers are strong here, they'll bring it back to this level, potentially knock it all the way down here, right? So now imagine, let's go back to the monthly for a second. And, you know, um, back in here, let me let me clear this chart for a second. All right. And just draw a couple of these lines back in. So, for example, this one here, this one here, and then we, we had the ones below, right? So, when price breaks out to a new all-time high, you know there's no resistance overhead, right? That's usually the best time to put on a long position. Um, and if you draw your trend lines like that, it will you'll be able to identify that very easily. And you'll be able to tell from the history of the price action whether or not there are going to be any obstacles in your way. So here, when Apple broke through here, that was a great opportunity to go long. Now, they don't all work out. Um, and in this case, you know, it moved from about 70 to just above 80. So it was a decent, decent move. But then it pulled back and it didn't hold that line. That support wasn't, wasn't great. It came all the way back here. But when it punched through the second time, right, now off it runs. So on these plays, the reason why I'm showing you this is, you once you break out to an all-time high you know the odds are highly in your favor of a nice move in your favor what you don't know is how far it can go right so when you have those lines drawn in you you have a target to shoot for this way when you break out to a new all-time high like this um you really don't have a, a target overhead so you can scale out at, at you know a nice round numbers like 80 90 100 etc or you can use something like your fibonacci tools right which will give you an idea of where price may land your fibonacci extension tool will draw in potential level levels of support uh, future support and resistance it's another tool um, that will help you so one of the things you can do is once you break out you want to identify your most recent high and your most recent low and then you want to take that fibonacci tool you want to go to the low click there go up to the high click again and then drag down below and now this will give you those those potential levels so obviously um coming back to that prior high is level number one your next level is the 1.272 extension and the third is your 1.618 level and then eventually you have a 2618 and even further ahead you, you have your 4.236 level okay those are future levels of support and resistance and what you can do is say you enter on a break above this trend line you put your stop just below the trend line okay and when you get to your previous high there 
you can take a quarter or a third off. And when you break above it, you move your stop from below this line to just below that line, right? Let it run. And when it gets to that level, take another quarter or third off. Up to you. You can even do half here and half here. It all, again, it all depends on how aggressive you are or how, how uh, conservative you are. And every time it busts through a level, you move your stop from the prior level to just below that one, right? And you continue doing that along the way until you eventually get stopped out, okay? Very easy, very uh, uh, consistently profitable way of trading, all right? Now, let's do one more quick example here. Let's go to Tesla, all right? So again, since I trade on the daily time frame, I'm first going to go two levels up. I'm going to go to the monthly, right? Now, when you first look at this, there really aren't that many uh, pivots here, right? Um, because Tesla was flat for the longest time and then became popular and just took right off, right? But it's quite easy to see when you take your trend line tool, you know, where those highs are, right? Right here. And where the lows are, the group of lows, right here, here, and here, right? So we had a pretty clear channel there. And once we broke out, we were also at an all-time high. And look at that move. Now we moved slightly ahead, then pulled back, and look at that. That level held as support, and then we moved forward. So now we can call this a pivot high. We can call this a pivot high, right? So we can draw that in. And we can call this a pivot low here and this a pivot low. And that's really all that we can do on this chart. In this area, there has been no other pivot de defined. Uh, I mean, there's this one here, the high, but uh, that's about it. So this is the channel that we have been in on the, this monthly chart ever since, uh, what, January of... Uh, of 2020. So let, let's go back now. Let's go to the weekly and see if there's anything else we, we can do. We re, there really aren't any. I mean, we can look at this low and this low and draw one across like that. That'll be a, a future level of, of support if price pulls back. We can also take this high and attach it to this one here. So that could be some resistance. So now we go to the daily chart, right? And here we are. We're right in between there. So what is this telling us? This is telling us that if Tesla can overcome this upper trend line, it is likely going to this level. Beyond that, it's wide open, right? Below, you know, it'll come back and most likely find support at that level. But if not, it's got a lot of room to run here. So what it looks like to me is that we are in a consolidation phase on Tesla and there is an enormous move about to take place in one direction or the other. We just don't know which one just yet, right? And it's not this move I'm talking about or this move. It's above this trend line or below this one. So we are either going to see an enormous move to the upside to well above $1,000 on Tesla, if it can clear that line, or if it dips below that, you know, this 530 level here, 540, it could potentially come all the way down to below 100. Now that may seem crazy right now, but I've seen even bigger moves before. So the, the, the reason why this can happen is due to the lack of support below, and the reason why it can move that far ahead is due to the lack of resistance above. And these trend lines really paint a clear picture for us. So again, it's super easy because now that I have have these lines drawn on, all I have to do is, is let these new candles form and wait for that. And as they form new pivot highs and pivot lows, I will just go in and draw those additional lines, right? Connect, connect those dots, and that's it. So again, you know, if we were to get a break above here, you can put your stop just below, just below that 
trend line that it's breaking above or if there's another one close by give it a bit more room and put it there and set your price target ahead remember you can use your fibonacci's to scale out along the way or nice round numbers like 750 800 850 etc um, and you can do the same to the downside if it were to break below here you can put your stop just above this line and then you know take your profits at 450 400 350 or use the fibonacci tool to identify those levels down here okay or wait it out and, and ride it all the way down there so again to recap all you need is a chart you can chart anything again equities uh, commodities forex pairs futures contracts whatever it is you prefer to trade and then select a time frame that you are going to trade and then select two higher time frames to use okay now if you are an investor let's say and you only trade off the monthly chart then that is about as high as you're gonna go so you can just draw them on there and you're done right if you trade off the weekly then do the weekly and the monthly okay trade off the daily you start with the monthly you go to the weekly then the daily if you're an intraday trader right say you tr like to trade on a five minute chart start with an hourly then go to the 15 minute and then finally on your five minute okay and it is that simple remember this will show you where the next breakout is likely to happen each line is at some point going to act as support or resistance and um, you will, will be able to tell how much profit potential you have on a trade that way you can assess your risk to reward ratio you usually want at least a one to three risk to reward right you want at least three times the potential profit than the amount of risk you're going to take more than that is better less not so good all right so i hope you enjoyed this um and remember just take your time you can't go wrong with this remember all you need to do is identify those turning points right the pivots and re just remember pivot high to pivot high and pivot low to pivot low uh, you know unless you're connecting a low to a high that's the only way you can go wrong pivot high to pivot high pivot low to pivot low doesn't matter how many you do um you know eventually you will it, it will become super easy for you to spot those turning points but um uh, again it's the major ones you need anyway so when you look at a chart zoom in bring in a lot of data and you'll be able to tell quickly that here's a low here right here's a low there's a high there's a low there's a high there's a low etc right and that's it connect highs to highs lows to lows enjoy i hope um you, you take advantage of this remember it is super super consistent you'll be glad you did i'm glad you uh, watched this video today and i hope you can join us next time until then take care stay safe